Hey, welcome to this uh, Programming for Cultural Heritage demo video. Today, we're going to be looking at the Genius API uh, to get started working with it. So the Genius site is um, used to be called Rap Genius um, is a lyric site, but it's basically like a crowdsource an annotation site where you have songs um, and the folks can come in and annotate the uh, lyrics with you know information about it. Um, so you might want to use the site though because it has lots of lyrics, right? If you're doing some sort of project around lyrics or something like that. So uh, the first thing you'd want to do is like find the API if they have an API, and they do actually have an API available. Um, and let me find it. And so um, it's when you start working with these APIs, you kind of have to understand what exactly they offer and what um, you want to use from their site, right? And so they have this API documentation site and they basically have um, a list of the resources they have available for you to use with their API. And basically they say, you know, it, you know, if you sign up for a key, you can use this API and et cetera, right? So you can see that they have, um, um, some stuff about uh, songs and artists and stuff like that. Um, and so you'd want to like use this if you know you knew exactly what you wanted to get, right? So like if you wanted an API to, to look up artists or look up specific songs, this might be useful, but you notice there's no like lyric endpoint here. So that was something I came across for well, if you were trying to do something about lyrics and there's no lyric endpoint, well then how are you gonna get the lyrics to the songs, right? And so this doesn't really return um, the lyrics for uh, individual songs, which would be a problem. So, you know, especially when you're working with these APIs, you want to do some research around uh, different options, right? And I was just looking around and I found a Python library by um, somebody that's called Lyric Genius. And it basically is a Python library that mixes these API with some web scraping. So it kind of does this combination where it does the API access and then it also pulls in um, some uh, web scraping from the website to actually get the lyrics. So, you know, if you were if you were finding that you wanted to actually use something with the lyrics, then you'd probably want to do something using this module instead of actually working with the API directly. And so this is kind of always a case where, you know, if you are going to be doing something with the API, you just need to do some research and figure out what's the best way of interacting with the API. So in this case, it looks like actually using this module, which is a wrapper around the API, which is kind of means like it just provides a more a simpler interface to it. And it is also um, uh, does some web scraping to pull in the lyrics. When you're evaluating something like this, a module to see if you want to use it, you know, check to see when the last update was made to the module. Because if you find like a, a promising looking module and it was last updated seven years ago, well, then it probably is not going to work so great, you know, because because things change very quickly with websites and APIs, etc. So I can see this one was last updated less than a month ago. So probably it would still work. You can also come in here and like look at the issues, right? If there's any kind of like big issue problems, then you know something that's broken, you probably want to check that. But you know, I haven't used this yet, and but it seems like this is probably the way to go with this API is actually to use this module that wraps the, the API and um, does some web scraping automatically for you. Um, and there's some caveats around lyrics usage and stuff like that, but this is assuming this is like an educational project, so it's fine. So the first thing we want to do, of course, is get this library installed. So we're going to pip install this. Um, so I'm going to say pip3 install lyric genius. And so we just want to make sure that this worked. We didn't get any error messages, so everything was successful. And then they have some examples of how to use it. And so the first off the bat, we need a access token, right? So if you go to the site, the docs.genius.com, you can, um, there's a link that says, visit the Genius API client management page. Um, this will provide you with a client ID and a client secret that you'll need, that you'll use to identify your application to Genius. And this library is saying you need your access token as well. So if we head over to there, um, I created an account and logged into Genius 
um, or sorry, so let's go back here. I created, so on this on this um, getting started page, it says first visit the Genius API client management page. So if you head over there, um, I created an account um, on genius.com and I logged in and then this is the page and it says create new API client. So we're gonna click that. I'm just gonna say, you know, it's called PSCH demo. I don't really have a website or URI redirect. So I'm just gonna save that. All right, so it says we need an API. So I'm just gonna put kind of a temporary website in there. Uh, this one error prohibits. So maybe it needs like a full HTTPS pfch.nyc. All right, so it gave, created the, the um, client and it gave me a client ID and client secret. So let's just leave this open and let's go back to the module to see what it needs. And so it basically says uh, my access token. So before using this package, you need to sign for a free account to authorize access to the Genius API. This Genius account provides an access token. That is what's required by the packages. See usage section below for examples. All right, so we need an access token. Uh, so we need to click on this generate access token and then it creates this access token for us. So this is the value that we're going to be putting into our, our module script. All right, so now we have um, that token. So let's actually try to do one of their examples here. Um, so I'm just going to copy and paste uh, their example and we just want to get it to work, right? We don't care what the what we're searching for. So we're going to create a new um, Python script and I'm going to save it as uh, genius test.py. Paste there. So I'm just going to go in and go back to that site and grab my token really quick. Um, the access token value. It's very long alphanumeric. And replace that with um, my token. All right, so it has. Um, Whoever this is, I have no idea. Let's we can go to the Genius homepage and grab somebody off their top top list of um, new artists. <clears throat> so we could say, you know, just come down here and grab some random person. I have no idea who this is, but we'll grab them. Their name, hopefully. Um, and we'll put that into our script. Just to see if it works with like the, the modern kind of current data that is on the site. So I paste that in there. So max song three, sort title, and then it's just gonna hopefully print some songs by this person. All right, so let's go to our code and run it. So I found these three songs, um, and then we need to look at the documentation about what you want to do, right? So if you wanted to actually get the lyrics to these songs, let's look at um, the website, what it says you should do next. All right. Um, so this, this operation returns some data and stores it as artists. So you could actually, um, maybe there's some more information in there. And then you could also save the artist songs to JSON file. And so you could also search for a very specific song um, if you wanted to do that. Or this looks like you can kind of find all the artist songs if you want and save the lyrics. So let's just kind of see what's going on underneath here. Let's say, okay, it's printing artist songs. Um, let's just print artist and then let's also do that thing where it said let's um, save the lyrics all right so let's try to run this again and again so i think we're like we're like capping it to like three songs here so if we increase that hopefully there will be more songs let's run it again
All right. So it saved these, um, it printed out the um, artist information here, which was just this, not very useful. And then it wrote out a JSON file. So if we actually looked in our um, same directory where the script ran, we would probably see a JSON file. Yep, and here it is. And so this is um, information about the artist here, right? So it has all sorts of stuff in there header information, Instagram usernames, Twitter usernames. Um, and then it also has, hopefully, all right, so the lyrics are in here um, under the song key value. So your songs, and then there's, for each of the three things that we request, there's, there's information about that song, right? Metadata about that song. And then there is, um, more stuff like the lyrics. Here, and we picked a we picked a Russian artist, so there's like a lot of a lot of uh, Unicode escape characters for that's for that um, artist lyrics. So you know, if we buy, went back to the homepage and we picked somebody like a pop star or something, we could see. Um, Right, so if you picked like Ariana Grande, we could say, put her name in there instead. And like, you know, let's, we could really kind of like increase the number of songs, you know, let's say like, um, change just the reflect her name and then we get increase the number of songs to like, you know, a hundred or something like that. So I'm sure she has a hundred songs. And let's try running it. Let's just see how much it will actually download. And so this is running sorted by title. There's like a second parameter to sort it by title. So this is why the number titles are the titles that start with a number are first. And so this would run, you know, hopefully until it reached 100. And the reason it's taking so long is, right, is because this module is like kind of doing a double duty where it's like interacting with the API to find the IDs of the songs for this artist. And then it's also doing web scraping where it's like scraping the lyrics from the website um, and doing something and storing them for you. So it's super really powerful. Um, it, it could take a while to get, you know, a hundred of these songs, of course, right? Um, so you would let it run and return data. So that's, while that's running, um, that's interesting, it skipped an interview. Um, so while it's running, let's look at uh, the, the documentation a little bit more for this module. And so, you would want to go into this documentation, read the docs here. And this would kind of give you some more details about the library itself, right? And so, um, you know, we use the artist endpoint. Let's make this bigger. We use the artist endpoint in our code, right? Because we said um, search artist. But if you, there's other ways of doing stuff, right? So if you actually had um, a little bit more metadata, so like you, if you had um, things like IDs for songs or something like that, you could specifically get that specific piece of data that you're looking for. So this is, we, we, we use search artist, but of course there's also, um, artist songs, artist albums, artist activity, get data for a specific artist. So you need to know the ID of these artists, right? If you want to use uh, artist, use a public API, we'll turn the same artist with more fields. So basically you have to pass it the artist ID and then that's pretty much it. Um, and so the artist ID, you'd have to find out the artist ID from like the artist search, or if you could actually go into 
the site you might might be able to gleam information about the artist ID. It doesn't look like it. So you might be able to let's let's try to get the artist ID for Arianda here. Um, so we want to look for artist search. Search artist. Um, all right, so search artist. Should return the artist and it should have more information about it, right? So this searches for a specific artist and gets their songs. This method looks for the artist by the name or ID if it's provided in artist ID. It returns an artist object if the search is successful. So then you can click on this artist object and see what is in there, hopefully. So it has its properties, it has its name, it has a image, image URL, it has songs, it has number of songs. Um, to JSON, to text, save lyric. All right, so we could try, we could kind of see the information for this artist, right? If we say to JSON. All right, so let's go back to our code. Well, we've got the 60 songs, so, you know, it wouldn't take too long. It's only in the Ds though. So, you know, someone, if someone who's very prolific has a lot of, you know, records, it would take longer. But let's try to, you know, we'll set this to one so it goes quickly, and then we'll print artist.toJSON just to see what that looks like. And comment that out. So this is going to grab the first song. We'll actually turn off sorting. So it just grabs a random first song and then prints the artist information to JSON. Let's run this. It didn't really give us a lot of information. All right, so I'm just going to look at the documentation some more here to see if we can figure out how to search for an artist. get data for a specific artist. Yeah, it's interesting. So we're trying to like pull, find a specific artist ID for this one artist. Um, here's search methods, search artists. Okay, search the artist on Genius. All right, so that's what we want. Search term, and it will return a dictionary, right? All right, so let's try that. Genius dot search artists, and then the name. So we kind of jumped right into it where we're like actually downloading the songs based on like a combined operation, right? Like search for the artist by name and then download all their songs. But if you have like an ambiguous name for an artist, you might start getting songs mixed together, right? So if we want to be very specific, we maybe we want to just say, I want this, make sure we have a specific ID for an artist. So I'm going to comment that out. And I'm going to say, okay, artist equals genius.searchartist. And I'll put in the text we're searching for. And then I'm just going to print artist. So this is not doing any kind of song searching. It's just doing a straight artist lookup for this name. Uh, 
Okay, genius not defined. Lowercase genius. All right, so <laughs> there's there's a lot of data about Ariana Grande, Ariana Grande, obviously. But what we really want to do is see. Um, we can throw this into our text editor and look at it. Format it as JSON. All right, so it obviously found a bunch of hits, right? Because there's maybe more, you know, search results return more than one result um, for this person. So it looks like, you know, when there's combinations of artists together, they're represented as their own artist, like a unique artist. So these are all our kind of collaborations here. But we can see the very first one is the one that we were interested in. And this is the ID, um, unique ID is right here, 26507. So knowing that, then we could start going into these um, more um, specific API calls using that ID itself, right? So let's look here. Um, say we want song. All right, so say we want uh, artist. Get the artist song. Gets the artist song. The song is in the artist. If the song is in the artist songs, return the song. Otherwise, search genius for the song and then return the song. Okay. So that's searching for a song by name. So it'd be cool to like um, get song, like get a list of songs, right? Not have to go through like getting all the actual um, lyrics as well. So that might be under search. So under search methods, search song, search for a specific song and get its lyrics. Search songs, search for songs has an genius. So yeah, it's, it seems like it's a little bit convoluted because you have to kind of like know, you search, this search songs and search artists is, is working off strings. So you don't necessarily need the ID. I can see where it might get, unless it's like every character, every name of, of the artist on this on Genius is actually unique. Um, so then that might work. You might not have to have any problems with having to know the ID exactly. All right. so. Um, you know, there are, are some other search methods here that we could try uh, search methods like uh, search artist. And so we do have the ID for Ariana Grande and it says um, this method looks for artist by name or by the ID if it's provided in artist ID. It returns an artist object if the search is successful. Um, so this actually returns, um, doesn't return the lyrics Hopefully it just returns information about the songs. So the example they have here is um, loop through each song and print the lyrics. So we could try to do this um, and try to use the artist ID specifically. So let's try this, go to our code. So that was another example. So I'm going to say artist search. Um, so we're going to pass nothing there, or we'll pass the ID. Let's try that. That's 26507. Uh, and we'll say also artist ID equals 26507. Uh, according to the documentation, that's what you should do. Maybe we'll see what happens. So you can sort. It's optional, maximum songs, etc. 
include features, get full info, number of results per turn. It can't be more than 50. All right, so we'll say page uh, per page 50. So this should return a, a, a song for each for each one of those artists, pieces of artist information. So song has properties like title. So we'll should, should should be able to say title. So the title. All right. So yeah, let's see if this actually works. So we're, this is an example where we're looking for like a specific ID not doing a name search. So it's a little bit more kind of accurate here, hopefully. All right, so it did pick up that. Yeah, so I think it's actually, it is just scraping those lyrics regardless if you really want it to or not. Um, so it could take a while because I was expecting it to just be like, like here's 50 of uh, her songs, right? Just really quick. But it seems like it's returning like a, uh, like a very comprehensive um, blob of information for each individual song. So um, yeah, there's a lot of methods here that you can dig into. And it is, this is really depending on what you're, you want to do with your project, right? So if you're looking for lyrics you can obviously get the lyrics with the examples we did if you're looking for more information about metadata about the artists you know collaborations and stuff like that um you know different a aspects of a, a of a specific song or series of songs or albums it really depends on what you want to do but hopefully getting the setup with the the library this lyrics genius library um and going through a couple of endpoints will kind of get you started uh with this api so thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.